Recording in progress. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. We were hearing the glories of Radha Rani. And uh, in how many different ways can we can speak and sing and meditate upon the glories of Radha Rani? We heard this. How Avatar Sri Krishna, he takes different avatars, different incarnations. Similarly, Radha Rani, from her three different priyasis come. Like Krishna is avatari, Radharani is also avatari, right? Krishna is avatari, Radharani is also avatari. And three, Radharani is three, there are three vistars of Radharani. Which are those three? The Lakshmi's in Vaikunt are her expansion. They are Vibhuti of Radharani, the Lakshmi's in Vaikuntha. Her opulence. The Lakshmi's in Vaikunt are the opulence of Radharani. Similarly, the queens of Dwarka. They are the they are the <clears throat> the Lakshmiya Radharani's Vaibha Vilas and Dwarka queens are Radharani's like how in Krishna, there is Vaibha Prakash and pra Prabha Prakash. Similarly, Radha Rani, she is Avtari. Baba, रुक जाओ मत जाओ पीछे मैं लगा दूंगी so gopis are different 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 types of gopis they are the kaya view sarup of radharani all the gopis they are manifestation of Radharani, all the Braj Gopis, Gopis. And they are the Kaya view Sarup of Krishna. Sorry, Radharani is Kaya view. They are coming from Radharani. They are the manifestation of Radharani. They are they have different behavior. Like Lita Sakhi, she is she is strong. She can show anger to Radha and Krishna. She can control them. So they are different avatars of gopis. Different prakash of Radharani. And they all have, all gopis have different behavior. That's for the service. To enjoy different rasas. If all are one gopis, then there won't be any ras. This is just to give ras and taste to Radha and Krishna. And gopis, if they stay in Shant Bhav, they can't control Radha and Krishna. That won't help to taste rasas. So different, different these gopis, diversions, this diversion in their behavior of gopis, they, that becomes different. Without priyasis, Krishna can't Taste the rasas. Which ras? Shingar ras. Shingar ras means madhuri ras. Madhur ras. Where and, and where that can be seen? Shingar ras can be seen in Braj. Especially at Ras Leela. So when so many gopis, if they won't be of different behavior, different nature, then the ras won't be, won't be enjoyable for Krishna. Variety makes the rest enjoyable for Krishna. That's why in Krishna's so 
So just to help the pastimes of Krishna, the leelas of Krishna, to to give happiness, to give joy to Krishna. That that's why all the gopis they manifest from Radharani. And these gopis they perform different pastimes. They perform different services, and because of their beautiful services, beautiful nature, they like Chulan Leela, for example, Chulan festival. That is just to give enjoyment to Krishna. The pastimes of Holy Leela, Ras Leela, Chulan Leela, Jal Kili Leela in the water of Jamuna. So there are different such Leelas. That's to assist the pastimes of Krishna. to make krishna in, enjoy he should be enjoying he should be having you know enjoyment so by different gopis this happen so radha rani this is the you know significance of radha rani to make krishna happy if krishna takes in, if krishna comes okay if krishna comes in vaikunth then radha rani becomes lakshmi ji in vaikunth If Krishna goes to Dwarka, then Radha Rani in one form goes to Dwarka as Krishna's queen, and similarly in Braj, to perform different pastimes, Radha Rani manifests manifests as different Braj gopis. Without her, there can't be any ras. If they can't be different such kantas, then then they can't be any ras. Shrimati Radhika, with all these Braj gopis, Radha Rani's only desire is to give pleasure to Krishna. That is why. in that leela there is too much detail different moods different behaviors different swaroops but, but all this variegatedness is coming from radha rani all this these varieties variegatedness is coming from radha rani if these gopis won't be there then radha and krishna meeting can't be so 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 special their meeting become special because of different gopis so to manifest the pastimes of radha krishna to make it more pleasurable for radha krishna gopis are required without gopis these pastimes can't take can't take place they can't happen So this is being mentioned over here about gopis. Bhakti Nath Thakur says, "Shri Krishna is avatari, and like there are so many incarnations of Krishna. That is the expansion of Krishna. His incarnations. Similarly, Radha Rani, all the all the potencies, female potencies." or the wives or the priyasis they are coming from radha rani how krishna is avatari radha rani is also avatari similarly further they are saying that this is this is an important shlok please learn this Govind Nandini means the one who is giving Anand to Govind. This is also a name of. This name is given in the during Diksha time. Govind Nandini. Govind Nandini Radha. Govind Mohini. It's a very beautiful verse. 
Govind Nandini means the one who is giving pleasure to Govind. The one who attracts Govind. Govind Sarvasya. She is everything for Go of Go she is of Govind, completely of Govind. And she is Sarv Kanta Shirumani. All the priyasis, among all the wives, among all the shaktis, she's the topmost. She's the topmost. Radhaji attracts even Govind. How? By her beauty, by her qualities, her, by her love, by her pastimes. She even attracts Krishna. So one of the name of Radhaji is Govind Mohini Radha. And another name is Govind Nandini Radha. And Govind Sarvasya. And another name is Sarvakanta Shiromani. And fifth name is Radha. So in this verse, all the names of Radharani are given in this verse, which Prabhuji has sent in the group. This, this shloka number 4.82, CC Adilila. So how she attracts Krishna? She attracts Krishna. So is Krishna someone ordinary? Is is he someone ordinary? That he can be just attracted just by like that? No, he's Bhagwan. Krishna is Bhagwan. He's not an ordinary boy who can be attracted so easily. It's not so cheap or easy to attract Bhagwan. Bhagwan is Bhagwan. Who is Bhagwan? Who is Jitendra? He can't be controlled by his senses. He's the master of senses. Which Bhagavan? The one who is Atma Ram and Atma Kam. He is self satisfied. Yes. He is completely satisfied. Always enjoying. Sat Chidanan Swarup. This Bhagavan Govin. Who can attract him? Nobody can. Only. Radhaji and those devotees who are under Radharani. Only they can attract Shri Krishna. They can attract or they can Mohit. Mohit also means attraction. Krishna also wants to get attracted. So he manifested one pastime for this. He wants to show to the world that I got attracted. But he called his servant. Who? First, I will attract you. By attracting you, attracting you, I'll also get attracted. So Krishna called Brahma, Lord Brahma. Brahma Jikam. Like in a big family. There are so many servants in a big family. So the cook, what he will be said, you should cook nicely. Today I want to eat this and this. The, the cleaner will be instructed to make the house clean properly. The driver will be instructed to drive safely and to come on time to pick us up. So every servant has speciality, special role. Here Sri Govind in this verse, Sri Krishna. Everybody is his servant. Alone he is the enjoyer. Only Krishna is Ishwar and others are his servants. Brahmaji is also his servant. Brahma is not just one or two. Brahma are unlimited. There is no counting of it. Counting of him. There are unlimited universes and there are unlimited Brahma. Some are having four mouth, four faces, some having ten faces, some having one thousand faces, some having one lakh faces. Brahmaji. Who are who all are these? They are Krishna where he steps. All these Brahma come and offer their obeisances to Krishna. So Brahmaji, Krishna Ji, he is Krishna's servant. So Bhavan can't be attracted so easily. Can he? But he wants to. 
सो ही कॉल्ड हिज सर्वेंट ब्रह्मा ओके मैनिफेस्ट सम पास टाइम फॉर मी ही इज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग टू ब्रह्मा वॉट इड ब्रह्मा डू ही स्टोल हिज काव एंड काउहर्ड बॉयज The moment his friends and calves were stolen, Bhavan got attracted. Hear this carefully. Brahma ji came and he stole Krishna's friends and calves. Brahma ji came and he stole both of them, all of them actually, because Krishna wants to get attracted. At one side. Krishna is eating food by his hands, licking his fingers, and he is looking for his friends. Where are my friends? Where are my friends? Where are my calves? Krishna got attracted. First, Krishna got attracted. Then he attracted Brahma ji, because all the calves and all the cowherd boys, they. Krishna manifested them from Himself. He manifested them all from within Himself. Now, seeing this, Brahma ji got attracted. He started thinking, "Oh my Lord, oh my Bhagwan, one Narayan is my ishq. Here I am seeing all so many Narayans, Sarvasya, everywhere Narayan." All sakhas became Narayan. All calves became Narayan because they were manifested by Shri Krishna. Therefore, therefore, how Krishna attracts everyone? So Krishna, who can attract everyone, he can be attracted by Radhani. That's why her name is Govind Nandini, Govind Mohini Radha. This is the very, very, very important shlok. The one we are reading, Chaitanya Charitamrit. In this, we have to learn so many verses. If we remember them once, then it's going to be our wealth for entire our life, life, entire life. Like if we remember the phone number of our friend or someone's address. Even we remember what with whom we fought six months back. That also we remember. Okay, someone said this to me when maybe four five years back. That one statement we don't forget, and fifty times what we get that we forget. This is human psychology. Fifty nice things are done to us that we will forget. One time, if someone says something to us, that we will keep on whining for all the time. So we learn so many things. So similarly, we should also learn these verses so that we can improve all all our other things. So all the verses which I am telling you, try to learn them. This is a very important verse. Very important shlok. Devotees, we hear this carefully. Devi Krishna may prokta Radhika para Devata. I'll try to finish this chapter till Sunday. So because Monday I have to travel, and then I won't have classes on Chaitanya Charitamrit because. Then I will connect after two months because Monday I am going to India, and the moment I will touch the land of India, so when is the day? When is the land? There is no realization. Then, then you all can hear Bhagavad Gita online. 
चैतन्य चेता मिथ्स कथा विल ओनली बी टिल संडे सो आई ट्राई आई एम ट्राइंग बाय माय बेस्ट टू मेक दिस अंडरस्टैंडेबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टू फिनिश बाय संडे बट इन बिटवीन सच इंपॉर्टेंट वर्सेस आर कमिंग सो दे नीड टू बी अंडरस्टूड प्रॉपरली देवी कृष्णा मई प्रोक्ता राधिका पर देवता सर्व लक्ष्मी मई सर्व कांति समो सम मोहिनी परा what is being said here radhika ji kaisi hai par devta radhika radhika ji is par devta radhika what does it mean krishna ki aradhana jo karti hai the one who worship krishna krishna that radharani but that's not the point krishna the one who is worshiping radharani so her name is radhika and she is not different from krishna there is no difference between these two dui vastu ved nahi sarv shastra shastra praman radha krishna are one but they manifested in two bodies so it's only radharani is krishna only non different from him and how is radhika radha radharani par devta she is at supremely worshipful sarv lakshmi mai all the lakshmis they manifest from manifest from radharani so her name became sarv lakshmi mai so we have been hearing all the lakshmis in vaikunth they come from radharani their foundation their adhar is radha rani that's why her name is sarv lakshmi mai सर्व कांति सम मोहिनी परा ऑल द गोपीस ऑफ कृष्ण अमंग देम राधा रानी इज टॉप मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल एंड सम मोहिनी परा शी हैज सम इंटेलिजेंस मोहिनी आकर्षण शी कैन अट्रैक्ट टू कृष्ण बाय हर लव शी कैन अट्रैक्ट कृष्ण टुवर्ड्स हर बाय गिविंग हर एवरीथिंग टू हिम nothing for herself she abandons her shyness the the regulations of the society that's why there is great significance of radharani and gopis because they don't fear society they abandon everything for krishna everything for krishna's pleasure it was given up शास्त्र क्या कहता है से वेद क्या कह रहे हैं वेदास से सोसाइटी वॉट इट से धर्म ऑफ बॉडी एवरीथिंग वॉज गिवन अप फॉर हुम ओनली फॉर कृष्णा प्लेजर एवरीथिंग इवन अवर माइंड एज वेल इवन देर माइंड एज वेल द थॉट्स ऑफ देर माइंड वर गिवन अप लाइक वी पीपल i feel when i love to, when i want to love you then i will love you if i don't want to love you then i will not show my love for you it all depends on my mind mera man nahi karega to vastav mein nahi hoga lekin but radha rani's mind is not mind kehti hai anyar man man more man vrindavan she says more man vrindavan baaki sab ka to man hota hai everyone has their mind man means sankalp karta hai vikalp karta hai man is that the object which which accepts and rejects sometime it likes something this other time it won't like that thing today this point tomorrow another point this opinion that opinion this opinion that opinion acceptance and re- rejection man is not stable it's always disturbed and perplexed but radharani is saying my man more man vrindavan mera man mera hriday kya my mind is vrindavan in that my mind is my heart and it's vrindavan in my heart there is krishna's desire krishna's service desire aur us hriday mein krishna ke liye sarvas nichhavar kar do ye ek baat hai apna sab kuch nichhavar kar giving up up her her everything is it possible for us it's very difficult radha ji ne radha rani gave up everything without 
you know, having second opinion. She gave her everything for Krishna's pleasure and satisfaction. That's why in this verse, it is said, Sarv Lakshmi Mai Sarv Kanti Sam Mohini Para. The one who attracts Krishna, the one who attracts Bhagwan, that can't be ordinary person. That Bhagwan, who is not controlled by anybody else, nor by any, he can't be controlled by someone's beauty, nor someone's power, nor anyone's wealth. He is self-satisfied, Atma Ram. Is he controlled by beauty? Then why he got, why he left Kubja? What is Kubja? Who was Kubja? In Padyavali, Rupa Goswami says, what was the beauty of Kubja? She was bending and she was bending from three different forms, three different sides of her body. Sides of her body. But did Krishna see her beauty really? She, he saw her beauty, uh, love for Krishna. That in that love, even the language, language doesn't matter. Even if someone can't pronounce properly in that love, still it will be called love. Like a small child who goes to school, mother is at home. So these days children carry, you know, phone to their schools during our time mobiles were not allowed mobiles were not even there in schools so, so if something happens in the school phone call would go from office to our home that your child is sick now please come and take the child but now even children have phone in, in the school so they can message their mothers immediately that my head is aching I'm having fever if he sends a message to his mother, then his mother, will she see in the message the spellings in the message? Will she see the, see the spellings of the child in the message? If he writes, Mother, I am very sick. But if he writes, Sick, I am by mistake. Mother, sick I am. Or he just writes sick. And even the spellings of sick is S-I-C-K. If he writes S-I-K, even still the mother will understand. Even still she will understand that my child is not well. And immediately she will, you know, do something for the child. So there, all these thoughts are coming in the mind. No thought is coming in the mind. Only one thought is coming in the mind. The thought of Prem, love, service. That is why it is said, Dhai Aksha Prem ka Pade So Pandit Hoi. The one who gained a lot of knowledge, but if he doesn't understand love, then what he understood? But even if someone understood love, the meaning of love, the word is very easy. Shabd, word. Pa, re, ma, love, love. So small. But in this small word, the entire small word, the entire world has come. The entire universe comes. The entire Goluk stays in this word love the entire golok is controlled by this love all the inhabitants of Vrindavan they are controlled by this love love is controlled by love even prem is not free love is not free Pray, love got controlled by you know love got stuck in, in, in its in its own net so we have a net to catch birds or to catch uh, fish 
or someone have this net to catch monkeys or to catch you know uh, birds uh, animals so the net of love is such that it can it controls even bhagwan who spread that net sarv lakshmi mai sarv kanti samohni para radha rani radha rani spread that net net of love that even krishna got you know captured by her radha ji also also she got captured i mean to say krishna got captured krishna got controlled by radha rani such beautiful pastimes that's why her name is devi krishna mai prokta this verse is very beautiful krishna das kaviraj goswami is explaining this verse taking each word from this verse so starting from devi radha rani is devi who is dev mahadev no is dev mahadev so people say dev means mahadev mahadev to dev hai hi hai mahadev is dev but there is a master of mahadev mahadev kis ki aradhana karte hain bolte whom does mahadev serves govind dev adi dev adi keshav <coughs> this word dev is actually applicable only for krishna like it is said krishna janmashtami what we say krishna janmashtami that means jayanti krishna's jayanti now this jayanti word is being used for everyone for any political leader for someone for other incarnation of krishna also jayanti shabd is used but jiva goswami is saying no jayanti word is only used for krishna is is reserved for krishna it krishna has copyright for this jayanti similarly dev word is actually applicable for krishna and rupa goswami say krishna dev bhavantu krishna dev bhavantu vante निज जन पंकजा मकर कृष्णादेव वंदे कृष्ण देव भवंत वंदे आई वर्शिप कृष्ण हु द वन हु इज देव हु इज आदि ही इज द मास्टर ऑफ डेमी गॉड्स द कृष्ण आई मीन कृष्ण सो this word is only applicable for krishna similarly devi is only applicable applicable for radha rani otherwise there are so many devis parvati is also a devi durga is also a devi lakshmi is also a devi saraswati also a devi mangla he this devi that devi shitla mata is also one devi there are so many devis but the lakshmi and vaikunt are also devi and the queens of dwarka are also devi but the devi of all these devis she is actually known as devi these are the words of scriptures so in this world they say see this female she is like a demi goddess you know devi so why they call devi where is it being used why is it being used there for that kaviraj goswami is saying कृष्णा पूजा कीड़ा वसति नगरी दिस इज़ द नेक्स्ट देवी 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 का है है ना उसका पहला शब्द शब्द फर्स्ट वर्ड फ्रॉम कृष्ण कहे परम सुंदरी पूजा किरिदरा वसति नगर नागरी व्हाट डज इट मीन देवी मींस द वन हु इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल like we say in this world oh she this girl she is like a goddess goddess means very beautiful so devi 
So Devi means Devi is referring to someone who is very beautiful. She is Param Sundari, top most beautiful. And one more meaning is not just beauty. Devi also means. So Radha Ji can fulfill all the desires of Krishna. She fulfills all the desires of Krishna. All the desires of Krishna, all the passions of Krishna, only Radharani fulfills them, performs them. We got a very nice topic today, Radharani. Second is Second word is Krishna Mai. Krishna Mai means her name is her, another name is Krishna Mai. She is that she, who has no one else apart from Krishna. So she became Krishna Mai. Krishna is inside her, Krishna is outside her as well. Krishna Yare Bhitare Bahire. Yara Bhitare Bahire. Like how iron gets lust. Ironized. It becomes ironized. The iron. So Radharani is Krishnaized. Internal also Krishna, outer also Krishna. That's why it is said. Ganesha. Inside Krishna, Radharani is also Krishna. Like for Lakshmi Bhagavan, Narsim Bhagavan, we say, Ito Narsimha par to Narsimha. Yato Yato Yam, Ito to Narsimha. Narsim Bhagavan is internal also, inside us and outside as well. He is everywhere. So, but inside Radharani is Krishna. Outside also Krishna. How outside Krishna? In the trees, she sees Krishna. The Mal Riksh, when she sees the Mal Riksh, she runs towards him and embraces it. When she sees a peacock, when she sees cloud, so she's seeing Krishna everywhere externally as well. Wherever her glances goes, she's she's Krishna. She remembers Krishna. She sees Yamna water and she thinks Krishna. She sees Giraji, she thinks Krishna. She sees trees, she thinks Krishna. She always remembers Krishna. What, where, whatever she sees. So internal, internally she has Krishna and outside also. Wherever she sees, that only reminds her of Krishna. So her name is Krishna. Krishna Mai. That's why her name is Krishna Mai. Another name is because she is Krishna's Haladani Shakti, so, she, so they are one. Krishna Sarup is love, and she has connection with Krishna, so she is also like him. Both are like that. Uh, and further, what is the meaning of the name Radhika? That's why I said, learn this word. This verse number is um, some people in India write, you know, on their car behind on the glass. They, Radhika para Devta. Radhika para Devta. They even write this on their phone. Maybe I have also written on my phone years back. Shlok number 4.83. This shlok verse is taken from Brihat Gautamai Tantra. Her entire glories came in this one verse. Devi Krishna Mai Prokta, Radhika Paradevata, Sar Lakshmi Mai Sarva.
the one who fulfills all the desires of Krishna, that is called Aradhana. That's why her name is called Radhika. A Radhana word came Radhika. From Aradhana, her name came as Radhika. Radhana means the one who fulfills all the desires of Krishna. The desires of Krishna is what? Are what? Jojo Sham Bhai. There was some verse. Whatever Krishna likes. And Radharani will manifest that bhav only, bhav only which Krishna wants to see. She will also accept man for Krishna. She will also leave man for Krishna. She will, you know, get sad for Krishna to fulfill the desire of Krishna. Fulfill all the desires of Krishna. This is the Swarup of Radharani. That's why her name is Radhika. That's why her name is Radhika. In Bhagavatam, it is. Is there a name of Radhika in Bhagavadji? People say no. In Bhagavadji, there is no name of Radhika. No, Bhagavad has name of Radhika. But somewhere specifically, so somewhere specifically where her name is mentioned, that's the 10th canto. In Ras Lila Veshudev Goswami says, there her Radharani's name is mentioned. Radharani told Shukdev Goswami, don't speak my glories. To, she instructed this to Shukdev Goswami that you're going to speak on Ras I, you know, I'm giving you, warning you, please don't take my name. Don't sing my glories. But Shukdev Goswami couldn't control. He, this is another verse which Maharaj is saying now. That the tenth canto, I think it's, it's 20 and 28, something like that, which Maharaj mentioned. Shudhe Goswami didn't want to speak, but because the moment he takes her name, he'll faint. Gurudev used to say this thing, you know. The moment he takes his her name, he would faint. He would, he would become unconscious. Then how would he speak Bhagavat for seven, in seven days? She has He has so much attraction at the lotus feet of Radharani. How can he hide it? How can Shukdev Goswami hide that love which he has for Radharani? So he's saying something different, different topics, but for how long he can? He's so excited. He's so impatient. So he had to speak about her as well. When he couldn't control, then he had to speak on Radharani. This is the definition of love. Symptom of love. How could, how much he could hide his feelings for Radharani? Shukdev Goswami was hiding all this while. In between, indirectly, he was singing the glories of Radharani. Somehow, in between. But the situation advanced. When the, yeah. Then Shukdev Goswami this couldn't control himself. And then the best pastime of Radha Krishna is Ras Lila. In that, all the feelings he had in his heart, the, the thoughts, the feelings. He, and he took her name. Still very close to direct. He reached very near to Radha Nam. Radhito. When Aradhana is said, that means Radhika. 
so he used the word aradhana anuradha when anuradha is used anuradha anuradha is used that means radha he couldn't stop himself basically he he he, he taught, you know he showed patience i will not take her name but he said he said anuradha so we can learn this verse what does it mean shudhe goswami saying these auspicious gopis of braj definitely they did aradhana of bhagwan and they must have definitely satisfied krishna specially otherwise leaving all of us shivde goswami is saying this verse where all the gopis all the gopis who came devas paksha swa paksha vipaksha vipaksh the agvan who are against radha rani tathastha also are there neutral are also there surit are also there they all came together and said spoke the glories of radha rani which sukhdev goswami is explaining further oh shri krishna hum sab shri krishna left all of us and he took radha rani with him this shows this gopi served krishna in a very best way did aradhana of krishna in a very best way who takes someone along with them the one who love the, the one who to whom they love a lot among so many gopis among them top most is radha rani why radha rani but just because she is very beautiful no jo bhavna radha ji ke andar the feelings of radha rani has like are not like any other gopis that's why she is superior like if one sakhi comes oh radhe oh radhe today i saw the complete you know face and body of krishna from his lotus feet until his head and face today i am very satisfied radha rani folded her hands go oh gopi you are so lucky you saw the complete swarup of krishna for me never this such a day has never come and they are doubting radha rani radha rani saying no it's true i have never got this chance to see krishna completely had to do if i just see one toe nail of krishna then my eyes can't move from there my nails get stuck there on krishna's one part if i just see his one eyes then all my senses get engaged in seeing krishna's eyes if i just see one of his hand if i just see his lotus feet that's why today i never saw the entire darshan of krishna this is the aradhana worship of radha rani for her krishna giving her everything to krishna not keeping anything for herself no shyness no regulations no fear of society she is not given caring for her body or for her mind um, her desires so that's why all the gopi said <clears throat> that the top most aradhana is done by this gopi why krishna took her and went away leaving all of us here during last day last leela brahman ki patniyan bhi krishna ke paas even the wives of brahman came to krishna you must have heard this past time some brahmanas were performing fire sacrifice swaha 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 krishna balram krishna balram saying krishna and balram are with cowherd boys in the forest the boys the sakhas of krishna they're saying we are very hungry krishna is saying if you are hungry then why you worry there are brahmanas here performing fire sacrifice nearby you go there and ask and eat they'll give you all the sakhas went they went near brahmanas oh brahmanas you doing swaha swaha your krishna is hungry there brahmanas they refused oh you children get away 
Don't disturb us. Don't you see we are doing fire sacrifice? Brahmanas do fire sacrifice for whom? Krishna? They are saying Swaha Swaha for Krishna and their Krishna is asking but they said no. They made those boys run away. Don't disturb us. All the sagas came back to Krishna. See, we went for asking, but they didn't give us anything. They didn't serve us anything. Then Krishna said, now go to the wives of Brahmanas. They will definitely give you something. All the sakas went to the wives of Brahmanas. Nearby Krishna Balaram are there. They're very hungry. The wives, they took away everything, whatever which was being offered in the fire sacrifice. Now Krishna directly is asking them why not to give. So Krishna became so happy. He accepted all of her, their food items. And one more, one important point is coming now. The wives of Brahmanas, they, he was shown, they were shown little fear. Krishna was testing them. Krishna is very clever and cunning. He takes lots of tests. So he, what test was that? Brahmanyo. Go away to your house immediately. Because society is not, they won't take it nice. Your husband will get, you know, bad at you. They might also leave you. So little fear was shown. So the Brahmanis ran soon to their houses. All of them. And such statements were even told to gopis. Krishna played flute. All the gopis came in the night. Krishna welcomed them. And now Krishna said, gopis, please go away to your house and family life. Go back. Serve your husbands. No matter how your husband is, it's your duty to serve your husband. Krishna said this to the gopis. Maybe your husband is not nice, old or diseased or poor. Or maybe he's a very bad character. Not a good person. Unfortunately, he's diseased and he's poor and he has no fortune. He's not fortunate. Still such a husband should be served by his wife. Gopis, go and serve your husbands. Go back to your house and serve your husbands. They said no. Krishna showed fear. The society, the society will boycott you or they will not speak good about you. Your husbands will dominate you. Your name will be spoiled. Go. Go back to your husbands. Gopias said. Gopis, did Gopis went? Did Gopis went? No. But Brahmanis, Brahmanis went. Just by showing little fear to them, they ran away immediately. Gopis have no fear. Why? Gopis, Gopis lover and Priyatam and husband is only Krishna. Krishna said, Gopis, you will not understand like this. I have to give an example to help you understand. What example he gave? I have said this multiple times, even in Bhagavad Katha. Once, one husband, he went to his to, for work purpose outside his country for a long time. His wife welcomed him and there the husband was taking rest. He was lying and he, she was sitting near, near him. He kept, you know, his head in her lap and they had a child. The child is going in the park. Now wife is thinking, what is my job? Should I get up and save the child? Or I should continue serving my husband who is sleeping? What is my duty? Who is saying this? Krishna is saying to Gopis, Gopis, see, you should be like this. Gopis, this all sat there. They all were thinking, my, everything is my husband, everything. From my husband, I got children. From my husband, I got this house. 
and prem and love and everything and he is serving right taking break right now i don't want to disturb his sleep but my child is going in the fire my heart is crying weeping but she just kept on sitting and the child entered the fire now she started crying oh my child is gone my child is gone my child is gone then the husband got up why are you crying and she showed the husband the child under the fire just right now so they both ran to save the child and see what happens that fire changed her nature that fire didn't remain fire she became sheetal cool as if someone is lying in the ice us pati ke pati vrat dharma ke karan us balak ko so because of wife's nature you know the husband gets saved i think this is what maharaj is saying so krishna is telling the brahman patnis to go back to their husbands sorry sorry krishna is telling to gopis to go back to their husbands the Go- gopis are saying you are giving us so much lecture we when we want to say something from our heart we also please give us a chance gopis said okay fine you you gave us a nice example of of husband and wife we also want to give an example mm-hmm. to you you said now clear our example there was one husband and wife husband for some work went outside and two days before they got married wife is saying i can't live without you please take me along with you don't leave me alone husband says no i can't carry you along with me i can't take you along with me and but my going is essential important and the wife is saying how will i remain husband said let's make a murti statue of mine in the house you can speak to that statue and you can show love to that statue when i come we will all live together like how we are living so somehow he made a statue of his own and the husband left now that wife is speaking to that statue every day showing love to that statue feeding food to that statue after one year when the husband came back he knocked on the door see i am back open the door i am back wife said who are you are i am your husband you lie my husband is in, my husband is inside so husband said bavri oh you mad you foolish it's statue inside your house i am your real husband open the door i am here i won't go anywhere we will live together the wife said who are you you liar my husband is inside who are you you are lying now gopis are saying sham sundar krishna you say we leave this up to you what is the duty of that wife what should she do krishna says what is the big thing about this simple question she should open the door and serve her real husband because the one inside is just a statue of her husband gopis gopis said clap clap everyone we won what happened uh something is wrong with my phone i think sorry so gopis are asking krishna now krishna is saying the real husband is outside the house you bring him inside and serve him inside is just a statue and go- and gopis said our husbands whom we left they all are statues our real husband is that's you krishna krishna also started scratching his head i can't speak in front of gopis what example you can give us krishna we have a better example to make you understand 
So this is the difference. The wives of Brahmanas, because of fear, they went back to their husbands. But gopis, no matter how you make them fearful, they will never fear. They have no fear. Love is so great in their heart that fear even can't stop them. Because Krishna is everything for them. Sarvasya. That's why Radharani, for her, it is being said, Govind Nandani Radhana Radha Govind Mohini Govind Sarvasya Sarvkanta Shiromani Bolo Radha Rani Ki Jai So you learn all these verses. So two, three classes we will take. That when the Harikata has to be, you know, ended, it should be done, ended on a nice note. Like in lunch, we take first Neem, which is bitter, as per Ayurveda. First Karela is taken, bitter God. Then Sabzi. Then leaves. Then Roti Chawal, Dal. Alu Gobi sub vegetable, Parantha. Rice. Eat all this and Last, gulab jamun, sweet. No one eats karela at last. Who does? How ending is done? Sweet ending by having gulab jamun. So our mouth becomes very sweet. I went to one house for prashad. Mata said, what should I cook? I said, whatever you like. I said that. She liked me if I like Karela. I said, yes. You like green leaves? I said, yes. Dal also I like. She took all the names. I was so hungry. I know she will feed me forcefully. I knew. I was so hungry. I was not, I haven't eaten anything since morning. I went to her house. It was 12 in the afternoon. We did Kirtha. Kirtan. It was 2 o'clock. And my, I was hungry. Mata, please get Prashad now. And she bring, brought Prashad, Chawal and Sabzi. Just rice and some vegetable. Maharaji, you start and I will bring roti. I will also there. I was also, I was there. Brahmacharis are there. When we ate, we mixed up everything. Karela, sabzi, gulab jamun, karva, khat, sweet, bitter, everything together. So she mixed everything actually. Bitter, sweet, sour, everything. Because sweet has a different taste. Bitter God has a different taste. Everything has a different taste. Similarly, feelings also have different tastes. Anger has different nature. Happiness has different nature. Crying has a different nature. Smiling, laughing, everything has a different nature. Separation has a different taste. Milan meeting has a special different taste. But if you all mix together, it's not nice. Then it becomes mad. Maddening, maddening. Sorry. So it's a very nice verse of Radharani's significance. From this, we can understand the reason for Mahaprabhu's appearance. So please learn this verse. Write in a, in a diary and put that paper on the wall. Radhika Pala Devta. Sarv Lakshmi Mai Sarv Kandi Samuni Radhika. Or you can put this behind you know, your card on the gloss. Gaur Primanande Hari Hari Bol. Shri Radha Rani Ki Jai. We will connect tomorrow. Hare Krishna.
हरे कृष्णा दिया